even recording? I cannot tell. Hey, creative ones. It's Melissa D'Antoni. I thought I would just pop on and do a quick video. Um, sending you so, so much love. Such an intense time. And um, my message for you today before I dive into this topic is to really be gentle with yourself and others. Get the support that you need. Invest in yourself. and Invest in... Um, there's so much, uh, unresolved trauma and karma coming up to be cleared and evolved and it requires our presence. It requires our consciousness. It requires our, our choice. Um, our, and that is our empowerment, right? We are conscious co-creator, uh, evolutionary beings. And no matter who you are on this planet, you are being, uh, invited to evolve. <laughs> right so everyone's uh, I don't know one person who's not feeling it so you're not alone and um, yeah it's so important to focus your energy your mind on uh, two things one is your own healing and evolution your own trauma um, your own uh, wholeness and self-care um, that's a radical act of love and acceptance and the other is um, what are you being called to create what is your soul's purpose what is your soul's mission what are you here what is your message what are you being called to create in this very new consciousness that's coming in yeah so I want to talk a little bit about 5d healing uh, facilitation um, in, in, in the fifth dimensional multi-dimensional consciousness um, so I'm just gonna let what wants to come through come through around this it's something I've been wanting to do a video on for a long time and I've talked a little bit about it's really important right now it's like all the old healing paradigms are being uh, or um, being invited to to evolve into a multi-dimensional uh, experience of wholeness right that means you're activating the mental body the emotional body the physical body the spiritual body the energetic yeah so facilitators so the entire old paradigm, like if you are healing in the third or fourth dimension even, um, and I'm not going to get into specifics with that, I'm just going to talk in general. Um, you know, a third dimensional perspective of healing is pathology based, right? It's um, victim perpetrator, it is um, very much rooted in a blame, shame, uh, split consciousness, right? So we are being invited to evolve into our wholeness, into our multidimensionality, and we do that through other people that have already activated this within their own consciousness. Because in the fifth dimension, you know, new earth, new era, gold, golden age, whatever you want to call it, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, it requires your wholeness. It requires the activation of your an embodiment of your multidimensionality. It requires your uh, full self responsibility, your emotional responsibility. Right? These are the areas that we're being asked to maturate, and often uh, and right now very quickly, because um, our evolution is calling for it. We can no longer deny our spiritual bodies our spiritual gifts our spiritual power each one of us we can no longer deny our emotional power our emotional capacity to that's really like you know the heart is the purifier um, of that energy of life and energy in motion is emotion it's life force creative life force moving through you yeah so that life force as it's purified through the heart I'm going to do all my videos in the pool now. <laughs> so relaxing. <laughs> and honestly, I've had so much heat in my body that um, I really needed to um, to be in a lot of water lately. 
and maybe that maybe that's true for you too um So these relationships, these healing relationships are really co-creative relationships in the fifth dimension and beyond. There is no healing relationship because all relationships activate your wholeness and your full potential and nobody's, he nobody's going to heal you, right? Somebody may activate your power in, a, in an energetic exchange. But these fifth dimensional relationships, in my experience, and fifth dimensional businesses and creations as they're coming through, you know, schools, communities, uh, programs, uh, you know, all this exciting stuff that's coming in for this new era, for this new level of consciousness that we are collectively birthing right now, um, requires equitable relationships, uh, wealth consciousness, abundance con consciousness, meaning there is no lack or scarcity. Your consciousness is not rooted in attachments to an old paradigm of wealth and abundance and money, an old system that is corrupt, dismantling, you know. Not that money is bad, right? You still have to work with money, of course, but and currency but you have a fundamental embodied experience with the divine that you know that your energy is your currency and it shows up in many many forms and that you're rooted in source right your faith is in source you're it's almost like I, you know i have a saying sometimes people hear me say like god is my bank you know <laughs> i bank with god and it's true it's like my power is not in Chase Bank or my faith is not in the government, right? Clearly, as that's being dismantled, wherever we have attachments to false gods, false idols, whether it's in the church or the education system or the government system or the healthcare system or the, you know, monetary system, We are being called, yeah, to rewire that in a new system. In fact, if you want to join me, I have a six week uh, mastermind and heart called the uh, called Abundance Alchemy. Learn to create your own economy. Create your own economy. That's what we're going to be doing for six weeks. So you're going to be pulling all your energetics, all your cords and threads and attachments to family, you know, ancestral stuff, cultural, country, you know, the monetary system, whatever it is. You're going to pull all of those tendrils, if you will, and root them back into the core of truth and love and your high heart visions with, uh, rooted in the divine and in Gaia and in, uh, the core of the earth, right? So that you can be supported in that physicality and that self-realization of those high heart visions. Super important work right now. This is work for way showers, for creative evolutionaries, revolutionaries, innovators, leaders. This is our work now, you know, and this has been my work too. So I want to invite you to join me in that. We're going to be doing some, some alchemy and some serious focus in this container. Um, so private message me or check the link on my website under events, melissadantoni.com forward slash events. The other thing I want to talk about is facilitating and healing. So I've been training facilitators expressive arts, transformative arts, alchemical arts facilitators and coaches in my method, which is a unique blend, right, of that kind of right left brain approach. It's very embodied, it's very experiential using using the arts for transformation and and paint medicine and other modalities like writing and movement and uh, sound and song and um, sometimes drama. And play um, and it's really grounded in a strong coaching framework so the five 5d facilitation is 
a right left brain approach. You have to have that deep shamanic, creative, feminine, intuitive, right brain access and modalities, right? That work on the quantum, that work on multidimensional. And that's what the alchemical art does, right? It's nonverbal. It gets straight to the unconscious very, very quickly. And then um, there's the coaching, which is the strong, masculine, grounded, practical framework, accountability, right? There's structure um, for you to be able to go deep within the unconscious and do the shadow work that's being called for in the deep, deep trauma work. So what I see a lot, and this has been my own experience too, my own journey of the last 20 years, you know, I'm a trained clinician uh, in psychotherapy and family systems um, and transpersonal psychology. I did a focus in creative expression and the expressive arts. And what I've learned, um, and also as a coach, you know, the can, and I've done a lot of programs, I've done a lot of online programs, and I keep coming back to the core of the relationship. Where we are going in the fifth dimension, what I've been shown in terms of facilitating these, their co-creative relationships, um, you're not healing anyone, right? Again, there has to be a equitable energetic exchange so there's no martyrdom, there's no codependency. You you know, the way that I have been working with people and it's shifted over the last year, um, because I do very deep shadow work also, um, my containers are super tight. My agreements are really tight, yeah? Um, my boundaries are really tight. My, if you are unwilling and unable to engage with me in those terms, which you've know, been doing this for 20 years, so I kind of know, <laughs> I've learned. <laughs> and things have evolved over the years and they will continue to, right? This is why I love training facilitators because it's so needed. Like if people are unable to create a safe space for themselves in that container, um, and there is um, projection or they're just unable to manage their own energy or be you know unwilling to take responsibility for their energy then i can no longer work with them and i get really clear about that that means even if you've paid me up front you know um which most of my clients do because this is deep work and I've learned how to create that protection, right? Because, and I realized too, that there aren't many facilitators that will go into these darker uh, shadow, deep trauma and dark shadow aspects, which everyone has, right? Unless they have the right protection. I certainly won't. Um, and these containers, the strong, masculine, practical boundaries, agreements, that's what actually allows the most pe both parties to feel safe in going into the dark. I cannot share my magic, right? I cannot share my mastery if I don't feel safe. So there needs to be that uh, co-creative responsibility. Yeah, I show up and give my best. I'm prepared to do that and you have to show up too. And if you can't, like bless you, no judgment, but like I cannot work with you. And it's, you know, it's interesting after doing a lot of work on my own journey um, and with clients in terms of their own healing and evolution around narcissistic abuse and codependency, you know, this was all preparing us for these co-creative relationships and agreements. Um, but that, um, you know, those, I have a deep, deep, you know, I've learned through that too, that in terms of like, I don't have to accept any toxic behavior. In fact, if, if there's anything that is out of control or out of alignment or out of integrity with the container and with the agreements that we co-creatively set up, then, um, and it's a, it feels unconscious or abusive 
um, or toxic or whatever, you know, um, out of alignment, then I cannot support you, you know? And I think this really needs to be talked about more in the healing spiritual community um, because I see it lacking and I see, a re and I understand, like I have compassion for it. It's, you know, it is like a battle almost, right? You're going in and um, of course, you know, with mastery and skill, but but you can, it, it's very disempowering for someone to think that they can heal another person or feel responsible for that person's healing because then you rob that person of, of the, you rob the client of their own creative empowerment, of their own creative potential, of their own healing gifts, of their own spiritual mastery, energetic mastery. So uh, we're gonna be seeing a lot of that shifting in the new paradigm um, in terms of facilitation and coaching. What else do I want to talk about? The other thing I want to talk about is, um, so integrity there, uh, really important and being self accountable. Like I've had clients and, um, and I say this with love, like really beautiful clients that get to a point in their own uh, shadow where they hit a wall and they, um, you know, are unable to take action to continue to keep the integrity of the container, right? Or of the agreement. And then that needs to shift and evolve. And each party, like, you know, that's the fluidness and that's the flow. Like, that's the responsibility of both people, right? Because you know, 5D, we are uh, integrated. It's the trinity of the masculine and feminine or what I call the inner family within. And it's integrated in terms of our wholeness. So that is our, we're, you know, we're stepping into our spiritual maturation and uh, self-responsibility and wholeness. So we can no longer take on other people's karma, other people's projections, shadow, you know, I will say from my own personal journey, I'll just share a little bit, like that was a big part of my own trauma that I brought in and that I re-experienced as a child of taking on other people's pain and feeling responsible for it as part of my own wounded healer, you know, journey or initiation, if you will. And, uh, you know, a big part of my own work and this is why I love coaching is to really be super clear in my own energetics that I will not take that on for you. I'm not going to take it on. It's not my responsibility. And, and honestly, even if I'm doing it unconscious, which I've done so much work around that I rarely do, you know, it's, it's something that I'm very committed to, <laughs> uh, consciously, uh, evolving out of, um, you know, even if I'm, if, even if you are wanting to give that to me, wanting to project it onto me, I won't take it on. There's really, you know, a huge calling for people to elevate the standards in the healing community um, as we make the shift into 5D, because um, especially in the business, as we clear out all these old patriarchal paradigms around mental health and um, you know, trauma and the patriarchal mindset and uh, money and business and martyrdom, all of that. There's no space for it in the fifth dimension in these, um, in the new earth creations. So we're seeing a lot of that. It's actually really super clean and the energy just won't hold. You know, I've seen that in my own life as I'm, you know, working with people on building these schools. I'm just starting my business here in Bali. Um, which is super exciting and you know, it's quite a big vision and knowing who is an appropriate collaborator and who is without judgment not at, ready for that level of self-responsibility because That's tr true freedom true freedom true sovereignty comes from self-responsibility of Facing your fears mastering your energy speaking up taking responsibility, not being perfect. I think that's really important. Owning your mistakes, 
you know, and putting the correction in and getting the support and committing to your own evolutionary growth and uh, mission, your, your own soul's purpose, you know. So if you're interested in my 2021 facilitator and coach mastery training and fire tree method, this is a creatorship. It is very much rooted in that co-creation uh, model in terms of energetics, in terms of the 5D. It is a 5D mastery. It is, you become the creative alchemist, you know, with these quantum tools, with this evolutionary coaching structure and um, practices. And many of the tools, if you've worked with me before, you know they're very simple. They're very simple tools. Yet when you practice them, they, they are powerful alchemy and uh, the mastery program will invite you to um, master them in your own life to get really, really good um, as a master facilitator, right? As a, as a master alchemist, right? As a creative alchemist, as a evolutionary guide, as a um, activator of ascension in these new earth, in this new earth leadership, right? Co-creative leadership. All right, guys, I'm sending you so much love, guys and gals. From Bali, um, drop me a line. Let me know what your thoughts are um, about what I just shared. I'd love to hear your comments. Feel free to private message me. If you want to book a session? Um, if you're interested in the training and you haven't worked with me before, definitely book a session, and we'll go from there. The other thing I'm noticing, and one other little tidbit, I'll probably do another video about this when we talk about abundance alchemy. But um, the other thing that I'm seeing is. Um, I'm shifting the way that I do pricing and it's very much independent for each person because, oh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was the intimacy. So the other thing is that a lot of these online programs are great, but there's no intimacy. There's no, and with no intimacy, there's no mutual accountability. There's no, um, <clears throat> and so people don't have the breakthroughs and they're not getting the healing and they're not getting the results, um, because, <clears throat> they're not that committed and um, and then it creates and perpetuates kind of the self-loathing self-doubt cycle let me know if you can relate to that um, I know I can I mean I've done classes like that where I was like you know there's no accountability here <laughs> like I need that structure when I um, I have needed that in the past for sure I guess I don't really need it now I have a lot of my own self accountability um, muscle <laughs> it's really strong but um, but definitely in relationships you know that's really key in, in the fifth dimension and beyond um, and it if is it if is not love or if it's not rooted in love and truth it's not going to sustain right? It'll just burn out really, really quickly. Like it becomes evident really quickly, quickly in this fifth dimensional reality. Um, there's something else I wanted to say about the intimacy of the relationship. So you can't hide in those intimate containers, like in the Sovereign Creative, my six week mentoring program, which I love because I finally designed this in really intensive, immers immersive program where um, people receive um, the support that they actually need. It's unlimited support with me for six weeks. And we're like talking all the time. You get unlimited sessions and you're working every day and there's no hiding. Like, and you just instead of waiting for a week right to do another session or you know whatever it is or to the next course or the next whatever next time we meet like that's old paradigm in the fifth dimension it's happening in the quantum you're moving very very quickly it's happening beyond the session it's happening in it, like a shamanic journey work in our exchange super important so i am sending you so much love um if you're interested in uh, any one of those offerings, whether it's the Abundance Alchemy and How to Create Your Own Economy, if it's the Creative Sovereignty, the Creative Sovereign, how to um, 
really that's about emotional and financial freedom and it is about becoming the co-creator with life you know and moving through any blocks any trauma any karmic patterns whatever we've worked through it all every dimension every area of your life so that you are really aligned with your soul's purpose which is really the most important thing right now right your our protection lies in that true protection divinity your divinity and your and your your health your wealth your protection everything lies in that um or the facilitator training for 2021 private message me everything starts february 1st actually the creative sovereign is uh, i think i have two spaces open for that if it calls to you and i'm sending you so much love bye for now